Welcome to our talk on the large screen cross-platform gaming opportunity. Today, we'll discuss what new large screen devices are gaining popularity among mobile games, why you should care, and how you can optimize your game to be playable across these new platforms. My name is Sarah Shamsi, and I'm a product manager on Android at Google. My name is Matt Monash, and I'm a developer relations engineer on Chrome OS at Google. Over the last few years, there's been a huge push for large screen devices in the gaming industry. These include things like desktops, laptops, tablets, and foldables. Both players and the market are showing investment in large screens. In 2022, 52% of players said they'd like to play games across multiple large screen platforms. And this was just shy of smartphones, which is usually the more traditional platform. This is also a huge business opportunity. In fact, we expect revenue from mobile games to grow almost 30% by 2027. Taking all of this into account, it is clear that now is the best time to optimize for these new form factors. Today, there's already many cool experiences that are optimized for different form factors. On desktops and laptops, we see popular titles taking advantage of larger screens for high fidelity performance and high resolution graphics, making a great experience for players. On the tablets and foldable side, developers can already prepare for their games to be played in multi-window mode. This opens the door for multitasking experiences or foldable specific experiences like dedicated game control panels. And finally, for our desktop form factors like Chrome OS and Google Play Games for PC, developers have been adding keyboard, mouse, and game controller support, which have made these games feel like a natural fit on the platform. Even though each form factor does have its unique advantages, you don't need to customize your game for each one independently. In fact, there's only a few things you need to do to ensure great playability across different platforms all at once. Let's see what the shared criteria is that guarantees a great gaming experience on different platforms. Above all, your game should work out of the box no matter what form factor you use. This means no crashes or bugs, which large screen devices are more prone to because they are involved in so many configuration changes. Beyond that, to make sure your game is playable on different large screen devices, you should test for these four features. First, your game should address all necessary configuration changes while maintaining a playable state, especially regarding resizing and orientation changes. Second, your game shouldn't have any content layout issues. All game UI should render properly on the device screen. This is challenging for large screens because many games are unresizable by default, but for playability, you should be able to adapt to different screen sizes. Third, the game's controls, visuals, and performance across each platform should not detract from the experience. The gameplay look and feel should be consistent across desktops, laptops, tablets, foldables, and phones. And finally, any accessories required by the game, like camera, should work without issue. The way accessories are configured can differ across platforms, so it's important to confirm that there are no issues for your game. Today, on tablets, foldables, and Chrome OS, if you don't optimize, we provide compatibility workarounds to keep your game functional. But since each platform has different compatibility modes, the game will likely look and feel different across devices. On tablets and foldables, if your game does not support full resizability or multiple orientations, we will help letterbox your game so that gameplay can continue. Generally on Chrome OS, if the game is not optimized, then we place the app in a size-locked window. By doing this, the user is protected from windowing issues that can come about from not properly addressing windowing logic, like configuration changes and resizing. But if you do want to optimize for a cross-platform play, and we highly recommend that you do, then it's easier than ever to unlock. We mentioned before that with large screens growing in popularity, developers should be considering now more than ever how to make the gaming experience great on these devices. Well, today, if you optimize your game for Google Play Games for PC, then you will by default be optimized for Chrome OS, tablets, and foldables too. Pretty cool, right? This means you can achieve a seamless experience across multiple platforms just by optimizing once. So let's say you're ready to optimize your game. You've decided that yes, your game deserves to shine across all of these screens, or at least on some of them. And now you need to know what to do. Let's walk through how to level up and optimize each platform. As we mentioned before, to create a great game on any platform, you need to hit these criteria for basic large screen optimization. But what if you want to take your game to the next level for Chrome OS or Google Play Games for PC? Well, each form factor requires just a few additional steps. If you add mouse and keyboard support for x86 builds, you'll be optimized for Chrome OS. If you add those and support play game services, input SDK for keyboard controls, high resolution graphics, and play integrity API, 
you'll be fully optimized and more for Google Play Games for PC. So you can see how if you optimize for Google Play Games for PC, you'll provide a fully optimized experience and often more for Chrome OS tablets and foldables. One easy way to optimize is to take advantage of the engines we work closely with on designing games for different platforms. Cocos and Unity have specific engine versions that are compatible with desktops, tablets, and foldable form factors. Newer versions of Unity handle game resizing and UI scaling automatically, so your game can work across different screen sizes. You can find the option to support resizability and multi-window modes under player settings by toggling on resizable window. Additionally, in player settings, make sure to also turn on x86 architectures and disable Chrome OS input emulation to have full control over trackpad and mouse interactions, both of which are important for Chrome OS and Google Play games for PC. These options are available in all actively supported versions, including LTS versions. Now, Cocos has maintained Android x86 and x86-64 support for years. And later this summer, version 3.8 of Cocos Creator will be released, which will include a new build target for Google Play Games for PC. You can look forward to improved keyboard and mouse support, automatic inclusion of important manifest permissions, and streamlined integration of player game services. At our developer community sites provided here, you can find resources on how to work with each engine to create the best experiences. And now, back over to Sarah. Super exciting, right? Let's check out how optimization looks in action. Asphalt 9 is a game that works great across multiple platforms. In fact, players recently said that they love the way it looks and plays on a larger screen. On Google Play Games for PC, Asphalt 9 plays flawlessly. The game window fills the screen and delivers a gorgeous and smooth experience. Due to Play Game Services integration, players can continue their progress from any Android device. And by utilizing our input SDK, the keyboard controls are surfaced to the user so there's no confusion with how to play. On Chrome OS, while aspects like Play Game Services and x86 architecture are not necessary, their inclusion really makes the experience shine through better performance and stability and enabling cross-save. With high-res graphics and a keyboard control, this game really feels like it fits on Chromebooks. And with the same build from Google Play Games for PC, the tablet experience is enhanced too. Here, input SDK, x86 support, and play game services aren't required, but we do get high-resolution graphics and game controller support. Plus, the core tenants that make a great game still apply, overall creating a really elevated experience. We've discussed what you can do today to optimize games across different device types. Now let's take a peek into the future for other features platforms can take advantage of. While these are not required for a great game, they can offer delightful experiences across platforms. One option is making games playable simultaneously across different form factors. This is a great way to take advantage of cross-platform optimization. For example, for Just Dance here, you can use your phone to record your movements while the game plays on a desktop. Another idea is having new layouts that take advantage of the larger screen in novel ways. For example, multimodal displays like embedded menus or maps or tabletop experiences for foldables can create engaging and unique experiences. We hope you enjoyed seeing how easy it is to optimize your game across multiple large screen platforms. If you're interested in learning more, be sure to visit our developer community sites to find resources on how to optimize your game for large screens. We're super excited about the opportunity large screens can bring to the gaming experience and hope that you are too.